Hey, it's Mike again. I hope you have your thinking caps on. I hope I have mine on too. I got my coffee. Um, it's time to go to your night job, your uh, third, second, third job. We gotta get through this. Uh, we're on to keynotes and contextual text form, text formatting. So let's uh, let's just go through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try to go through it on one take. Now, contextual text formatting, and I'm, I'm gonna hit the nail on my coffin a little bit more. Now, when any text object is selected in the view, not the text, additional formatting tools become available on the ribbon. Now we talked about this. The uh, ribbon uh, divides into four sections and you're able to format the text uh, justification, right? And the leader, how it attaches to the text. Now, it, it goes back into it, it reiterates it again. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna pass through that because we've been through it on the last exercise. So now we're talking about using keynotes. Keynotes are annotations that use a parameter to connect specific elements or materials in a model to descriptive information stored in an external TXT file. Now I could show you that file if you'll bear with me. See, it's by division, right? It's by division. So let's just leave this open for a second while I read. You can control the formatting of the Keynote's font style, size, and justification in the same manner you can format standard text, but Keynotes are essentially a tag family. Formatting changes must be made in the Keynote's family RFA file and reloaded into the project. Inserting a keynote allows you to choose a value from the TXT file. And I just wanted to note in the exercises that we're gonna do, not everything, not all the materials, not all the families, not all the elements, have been assigned keynotes. Some of them have, and some of them don't. So if I tag something, with a keynote and it just so happens to return a question mark. The reason is, is because a keynote wasn't assigned to that object. And the uh, point of this exercise isn't for me to perform data entry to uh, assign a keynote to each of these elements and each of these materials because we'll be here all day. Um, we could hire a data entry uh, technician or uh, a BIM technician to perform that uh, as we set the project up. Now, yeah, uh, inserting a keynote allows you to choose a value from a text file and apply it to a material or element. Because keynotes act as families, they can also be scheduled where standard text cannot. Before we discuss how to add different keynote types, we'll explore the various ways a keynote can be displayed. Keynoting functionality generally supports the American Institute of Architects proposal on the, con the conduct system in which a short numeric reference usually based on master format by the Construction Specifications Institute, and that's what I have up on the screen, followed by a two-letter suffix is used to label elements in a drawing. The keynote then references a list or legend that is located on the same sheet as the note and has a longer definition of the note. For example, a keynote on a detail might read 033000.a1 with a leader pointing to an element in the drawing. The associated list on the side of the sheet would read cast in place concrete. Some other examples might be 04810.bf, stone cladding, 05120.ac, steel beam, 05318.ah, composite floor deck, 05500, steel column, and then it goes on with steel angle, wood furring, plywood, uh, 1x IPE, wood sudden screen, rigid insulation, and so on and so on and so on. There's hundreds of thousands and millions and 
billions of materials. I don't even you know if I can quantify it. Uh, terabytes, Googlebytes, Googlebytes worth of materials. Despite the intended use of a keynote, you are not restricted to using only the numeric code. You can also display the full written description directly within the detail or view without the numeric reference. Now, they have a figure here that shows uh, a keynote that uh, contains the descriptive text for the element that it is depicting. And in this case, um, it depicts a window um, with a window uh, tag, uh, a window schedule tag, and there's a leader line to the window, and the keynote tag has a complete description, a, a complete description, denoting um, the uh, the full description of the window. Uh, and in this case, it's a Pella Proline replacement window, aluminum clad, primed, and a note that the architect is to choose from factory colors, typical. And another one might be uh, an example uh, like this: five-inch galvanized gutter and downspout. Uh, downspout. Pella steel full light entry door architect to architect choose from factory colors. There is no wrong way to use keynotes, and Reddit supports several methods of using them for annotation. Regardless of the method you use, keynotes will adhere to the same process for use. Once an element is tagged with a keynote, excuse me, ugh, it will retain that keynote in all other views in the model. If an element has been tagged with a keynote in one view and is then annotated in another view, it will automatically display the, display the same keynote value. This can become a powerful tool you can use to add consistency throughout the project for annotated elements. You also have the ability to pin keynotes. Pinned keynotes will retain their location even if the element they have tagged has been moved. The keynote command is located on the annotate tab in the ribbon. When you select the keynote tool, you have three options. Element, material, and user. Now, again, you're more than welcome to read through this and I suggest you take a look at this website and you're more than welcome to purchase um, this. And Again, I would make sure that um, you do your due diligence. You may be redirected to a site that gives you the wrong information. Everyone's trying to sell everything these days, right? You gotta be careful what you buy on the internet. Uh, who knows what you're gonna get? Just, uh, just make a note of that. Your best bet's probably to find it in the library, uh, in, in a public library. In any event, um, you can talk to your, uh, your superiors about that. So let me just go back over here to, uh, to Revit. And I'm just going to make a really quick note. I have to keep these videos a little shorter because I know in my travels that when I was searching for a solution, you know, I was under the gun, regardless of or regardless of when or regardless of uh, of what I found in my search path, it was I would always select the video or the link with the what my brain perceived was the most expedient solution. So if I'm looking, if I'm searching up how to create a keynote in Revit on the internet, and I come to a video, and if it's 50 minutes long, I'm gonna skim right through it and not go to it, because I know I don't have 58 minutes to learn. I'm gonna look for something that's three minutes long, so I can get it done, because my boss is breathing down my neck, and I know I have to find a solution, and I know there's not enough time in the day. Like I said, architecture is a study of space and how much we're able to do it in a certain time frame. You know, like the duration of your life span. Human beings are supposed to live into 120 years. And with modern medicine, they're saying that congestive heart failure is a 95% uh, preventable disease. So, again, I don't have much time. I have to, first of all, quit smoking. And second of all, get on my, uh, my cardiac wellness plan, which I have uh, waiting in the wings. So, I'm gonna relax, and that's the key of, to my well-being, and it'll be my, the key to my success in this, um, the further pursuance of my studies, in any event. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get through the next uh, few paragraphs, and then I'm gonna cut it short before we go into assigning keynotes and editing, just to give uh, myself uh, and you and, and anyone that's searching for a solution to be able to find it incrementally. Not that I'm going to uh, try to uh, deceive them with the video, but I, I know what they're looking for. And, 
and you'll find what you're searching for. So now, the, key, the keynote command is located on the annotate tab in the ribbon. As you can see, the annotate tab in the ribbon, you see keynote. Now, I'm in sheet, so I just want to get out of sheet for a second, because there are certain commands that are limited. Excuse me. Keynote. The keynote command is located on the annotate tab in the ribbon. When you select the keynote tool, you have three options. Element. Use element keynotes to, do, to annotate elements and assemblies within the model, such as walls, doors, floors, or other family instances. This type of note is typically used if you want to annotate an entire assembly, such as wall, roof, or door. Moving the element keynote leader arrow off the object will change the value of the note based on the element to which it points. The keynote value for family type can be preset within the family. We'll go into that later in the chapter. Material. Using the material keynote type will allow you to annotate specific materials within any elements. You can add notes for materials such as concrete, gypsum board, rigid insulation, metal studs, and so on. Moving the material keynote leader arrow from one material to another will change the value of the note based on the material to which it points, even if it's within the same element. So a wall with multiple materials, as we've seen in the edit wall assembly dialog box, can have several material keynotes. Material keynotes can also be predefined as part of your project template through the materials tool on the product of the manager tab, and I highly recommend it. Material keynotes can also be used in conjunction with element keynotes. Uh, with element keynotes. <coughs> so, uh, rest assured, um, the Kobe compliance is going to mandate that these manufacturers, or they have mandated that the manufacturers comply to these Kobe compliance standards, and these keynotes are a part of that. So anything you purchase, any model, um, that the manufacturer has available for you to embed in your uh, model um, and coordinate with uh, the, 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 the other coordinators, um, we'll have this keynote data already embedded into it by compliance. So um, there, there's a role for that, and there'll be f folks uh, performing that role. Uh, but in this exercise, I, I went through it a little bit, and uh, a lot of it will have to be performed manually by me. Uh, now, user. User keynotes are different from element and material keynotes because they are view-specific and cannot be predefined. Although they are still tied to the same TXT file and will update in the same manner as other keynotes, they are not associated with any, mo they are not associated with any model uh, objects. User keynotes are meant to be used for all the instances where you don't have a modeled element or material, but you still need to define a note. Some examples of things you wouldn't necessarily model might be sealant, Back or rod, or flashing, fire stop, stuff like that, right? Um, user keynotes are used primarily in drafting views. Excuse me. To use any keynote, a given view must have at least one model element or component visible within it. In the case of a drafting view, you will need to insert a 2D component, such as wood blocking or a steel stud, because keynotes cannot be used to note line work. So because user keynotes are not locked to specific model geometry, once they are inserted, they can easily be copied or moved around within the view and pointed toward any element. And that goes for naive people, too. Shame on you. In this way, if you have a sealant or flashing shown as line work, you can add a user keynote to the view and then adjust the note leader and the note value to call out the sealant properly. You can change the value of the user keynote at any time simply by double clicking the note value. This modification will not affect any other notes within the project. You can use all those note types in conjunction with one another. Using an element note to add a keynote to a wall doesn't mean you cannot also use a material note to call out the individual materials in the wall assembly. Assigning keynotes and editing. Now that's what we're going to discuss in the next video. So let me cut this short. So uh, anyone searching for a solution on using keynotes um, will be able to find a relatively quick overview of the fundamentals of them. And then I'll structure that uh, solution for them. So they'll find just what it is they're looking for. I aim to please. I'm not in the business of, uh, 
of putting people out of business today, maybe tomorrow <laughs> I will, left mic is, uh, is controlling me today. Maybe tomorrow right mic will. But uh, I've got to keep my reins on my digital twin uh, taut 